Good morning, third graders. I welcome you to a brand new social studies lesson. And in today's lesson, we're going to look at the second half of lesson two, communities are different. Now in the first half, let's just have a short recall. We learned that communities are different based on their geography, past, climate, etc. And Today, we're going to look at the second half of this lesson where we're going to see that communities are different based on the jobs they have in them. So you're going to explore this topic that's quite vast in the upcoming slides, so don't worry about it, right? So again, today we're going to see how different jobs in different communities um, are available and are created and how later when these jobs are created, communities are built around these jobs, right? So let's get started. We're gonna read this lesson together and then we're gonna explore all these pictures right here. So let's start reading different jobs. People do different kinds of jobs. Many choose to live in a community to be near their jobs. So let's start here. These two lines, that's the opening sentence, one of the most important sentences um, when you're reading text, uh, especially when you're reading informational text. So the first sentence says that people do different jobs and then they decide to live at that place where they find a job. We know that, right? So. In some communities, people work in large businesses and other places they farm the land. Now, jobs often depend on a community's location and geography. Many people who live near large bodies of water work on ships. Those who live near forests may cut down trees for wood, right? Now, this paragraph is all about these pictures you see here. Now, we know that, you see that? Do you know what those are? That's right, these are solar panels. And, and their function is to receive the sun's energy and produce electricity. This is uh, one of the groundbreaking uh, discoveries, uh, which is going to produce green electricity and uh, thereby reduction in pollution and global warming, right? So these are solar panels. Now, let's say that um, solar panels, right? We know that solar panels will be present in countries where there is sun shining bright in the sky all the time or most time of the day, most time of the year. So for instance, in Qatar, right? We know that Qatar is a sunny, shiny country. So um, any country that has immense amount of sunshine can install these solar panels. So there you go. Sun, climate, and the geography. And now people start to think, well, mm, well, let's have some solar panels installed. So what's going to happen? engineers are going to start working here and people who are going to install these solar panels will start working in this place. And when they start working here and they get a job, what will happen? They're gonna bring in their families and then their families are going to build a community, right? Now, let's talk about Qatar. We know that Qatar was a pearling community, pearl. They used to do pearl diving, right? And then, Many years ago, when oil was discovered in Qatar, fuel was discovered, um, people started building refineries. And now we have uh, one of the major industries here in Qatar is petrol, fuel, and natural gas. So now we have refineries here. People work in those refineries, and they bring their loved ones. And then this is how a community is built, right? Next. Uh, before I go any further, by the way, guys, um, I want you to research the internet and I want to check, uh, I want you to check out that there is a new project that's going to be hosted in Qatar in the year 2021. It's going to get operational and it's going to be Qatar's first large scale solar power plant. Yes, so it's great news for us 
that Qatar is going to have its first large scale solar power plant operational next year. And the place, I think it's called Al Kharsa, something like that, Al Kharsa. So don't forget to research or talk to your parents about it. All right, now let's go to this part. Now, this picture belongs to this sentence here. In other places where there is a land, plain land, plenty of rain, people start farming and they grow their own products, food products, and they turn into farmers, right? What about this? What do you think this is? These are mountains covered in snow. So think about the climate, think about the geography. It looks like a good place to have a skiing resort. So imagine the amount of jobs that are created when you have a ski resort. People are going to work in hotel management. They are, they're going to work in the catering services and definitely a hotel where people are going to stay. So you see how this job is created because of the geography and the climate of this place. That's right. And this picture goes on with this sentence right here. Where is it? Oh, right there. Those who live near forests may cut down trees for wood. All right, they're gonna be, they have, they'll have some sort of a business or a job where they will be working with wood products, okay? And right here, it, let's imagine that um, there's a pond or a lake somewhere in a community. People are gonna go fishing. They're gonna have their own boat, uh, ferries maybe. Maybe they will have this business or a job where they might have a ship to take people from one coast to another, cross the water. So you see how the geography, the climate, the resources that a country has creates jobs and communities built around those jobs. And last picture, wow, that's my favorite one. Imagine yourself relaxing on this white sand beach. And let's just imagine that you live somewhere around here. People are gonna build hotels, resorts, and there will be so much of tourism due to uh, a beach resort and there you go jobs and then they start living there and communities are built that way now so this was all about how different jobs and different kinds of jobs based on geography climate resources etc now let's look at this paragraph here some workers may make goods for others goods are things that can be brought bought or sold some goods such as bicycles are made other goods such as vegetables are grown. So these are all your goods that you know you can use to sell and buy and make money and have your own business. Now that's goods and that's business, right? Now let's look at this right here. The word service. Some workers provide services. A service is uh, work that someone does for someone else. For example, doctors and nurses help people stay well and this picture right here is a, a tennis lesson and so that's a tennis coach teaching this girl how to play tennis and that's a service as well teaching is a service as well um going to a salon and you see um the barber or the hairstylist hairdresser those are all services that people provide and make money all right now on this page um, again we've already uh, spoken about it that communities are built around jobs but i definitely want to read this out because it is one yummy paragraph sometimes a community is known for goods that are made there when people hear the name hershey pennsylvania they think of chocolate the community was built around a famous candy company so sometimes communities are built around their products, things that they produce. Um, let's read this paragraph and then I will share some information about Qatar with you. Other communities are known for services they provide. Many people in the United States depend on the banks in Charlotte, North Carolina. Banks are business that keep money safe. So look at this picture right here. And if you 
ever get the chance to go to Hershey, don't forget to visit the Chocolate World. Yes. Now, as we know that Qatar, we're going to keep uh, talking about the, the same topic as we know that Qatar in the past was a uh, diving, pearl diving community. And then they found fuel in Dukhan and the first well was dug and they found out that there was a lot of fossil fuel and natural resources uh, in the depths of the ground and the country uh, was rich with natural gas and uh, petrol so they started digging so from first well to a full-fledged industrial area where there are refineries that are on the land offshore so this is how communities are built and then when they finally had the refineries they had to make sure engineers come and work and other members of the refineries and then their families came and then they needed jobs uh, or they needed services and then a whole lots of jobs were built around uh, the discovery of fuel in this country. So what are you going to do today? Again, this is the same link that I shared last week. Please, uh, I'll leave it in the discussion uh, in the post for today. You, you can go through it. And then once you're done, let's go through the assignment. This is page two. I want you to analyze this picture today on page two, and I want you to answer these questions. Note the mountains, the rich woods here, forest, what's on the truck, what is this boy wearing, what is, what is that lady doing, what's that shop about, how does the street look, what's that guy doing here, tall buildings, small thin buildings, short building. what's that in the distance. Analyze this picture and answer these um, uh, questions read this picture and then uh, answer these questions down below here. So the first question is what words can be used to describe the geography of this community? Think about the climate, think about the land and how do you know what climate will note what they're wearing or try to figure out from clues in the pictures uh, what the climate might be like. Uh, then the next question is about what kind of jobs do you think they do? So again, geography right here. So if you could describe the geography, you'll be able to describe what kind of jobs this geography might um, produce. And then finally, the question is, what goods do you, do you see being used in this community? So look at the goods that you see in the, in the picture and write your answers and share your answers with us now. Best of luck, grade three. I know you guys are going to do a wonderful job today. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Best of luck, grade three.